Now we come to lesson six, which deals specifically with improvisation. In the world of jazz bass playing, you are often given a chord chart, and it is up to you, the bass player, to improvise the bass line. And obviously, to play in this manner, you need to know the fretboard, but you also need to feel what the song is telling you to play. And the notes should just flow out of you like water flowing from a faucet. Rel tapping into this realm of your being is something that takes time and a lot of practice. However, there are a few simple guidelines that you can use to produce good sounding bass lines. I don't want you to get too discouraged if you can't pick up on this lesson right away. We haven't gone through all the different scales and modes that you're going to need to know in order to become proficient at uh, improvisation just yet. However, I do want to give you a taste of what a jazz bass player has to go through in the real world. Because our lessons are geared towards beginners, we're only going to be playing quarter notes. This means that you're going to need four notes for each bar of music. Now generally what you'll do is you'll play the root note on beat one. For example, if um, the G7 chord is your first chord, you would play the root note G on beat one. That leaves us with three other notes that we need to play in order to get to our next root note. What I'm going to do is just give you a couple examples of some patterns that you can utilize for your bass lines. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to half step through our chord progression. We're going to go from G to C and then back to G. And we're going to half step through the entire chord progression. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Back to where we started. And again, we start on the G. One, two, three, four, one. That's your C. Two, three, four, one. That's half stepping through the entire chord progression. Now let's take a different approach, and we're also going to half step through this. But we're going to go a different way, though. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to where we started. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to where we started. Now, let's take an approach using fifths and one passing tone. One, two, three. These are just a couple of patterns that you can use over bass lines. There's millions of patterns, so there's no way that you could possibly learn them all. But what I recommend doing is just sitting down with your bass and figuring out how many different ways can you get from point A to point B. 